It's time now for Your Retirement Matters with Arlene Brown. Make a positive difference in your financial life by developing a disciplined investment strategy so you can retire on time and stay retired. And now, Your Retirement Matters with Arlene Brown. This is Jeff Davis, and with me today is the host of our show, Arlene Brown. Arlene, how are you today? Oh, I'm great, Jeff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, Arlene, let's talk about the new report from the Social Security Board of Trustees that says that the deficit is estimated at $41 billion. With oh, a B. yes, Boy. yes. And that the Social Security system will pay out more in benefits than it gathers in tax receipts this year for the first time since 1983. Now, the program will remain in the red through next year and go back into black, black, all right, for 2012 to 2014, and then return to deficit territory every year from, from then on until it will, it will exhaust or it will be depleted in 2037. That's the report, okay? But we already know that, right? You, you know about that. We know this. Uh-huh. And, in fact, Social Security has been telling us that, and we have heard few experts for telling the downfall of Social Security for years. It's just that the recent recession that began in December 2007 hastened the process and has put millions of people out of work, thus cutting the revenue from Social Security payroll taxes, uh, so that that's the and the impact of the current economic down, downturn continues to be felt by the social security trust funds. The fact that the cost for the program will likely exceed tax revenue this year is not a cause really for panic, but it does send a strong message that it's time for us to make tough choices. And we know we already know that we need to make that tough choices. When you say tough choices, you mean like raising the retirement age to 70? Well, you, you know, we may not have a choice. With Congress, have, Congress have been spending like crazy for years. And just remember, there are 78 million baby boomers who will retire soon. And when they do, these people will stop paying into the system and will start taking money out. So by 2015, the government will have to dip into the Social Security Trust Fund to, to pay the difference between the benefits owed and the taxes paid. And that's the, rep the report said that. And at that point, it will really deplete the trust fund by 2037. And the point is... Um, the payroll, the Social Security payroll taxes uh, to fund 78% of retirement benefits. Uh, and remember, there are more than 53 million people who receive Social Security with $1,100 average benefit a month. And, you know, there are different proposals from increasing the retirement age to giving less Social Security benefits to the wealthy like Warren Buffett, you know, and imposing payroll taxes on on wages above the current $106,000 limit. But uh, they say that the increase in the retirement age from 66 is justified by our lengthening lifespan. So we could actually increase the retirement age to 73. 73? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and that point it will it will have the same expected years of remaining life ex life in retirement today in uh, compared to 1940. All right. So considering all these proposals and these facts uh, that you've just stated, Arlene Brown, when should one file for Social Security benefits? Well, it's the question every boomer needs to answer, rich or poor, whether they'll need Social Security to make ends meet or whether they intend to use it to fund an investment program for themselves or, say, their grandkids' education or anything else in between. The answer to that question is complicated because the distribution phase of retirement is a lot more complicated than accumulation phase. Well, as a financial advisor, I help clients in figuring out Social Security's role in their retirement mix. And the crash of 2008 makes Social Security even more important than ever. And because there are very few real rules of thumb that apply to everyone when it comes to Social Security. So the decision really at this stage in life depend on multitude of factors, uh, including income, assets, health status, life expectancy, 
family dynamics, life goals, and a lot more. So you recommend, let's say, taking benefits starting at age 62? It depends on the results of our discovery process. Starting Social Security at age 62 can cause you li- to leave a lot of money on the table if you, if you live well into your 90s. And it has to be carefully thought out because unlike other decisions, this one is irreversible and has long-term effects. But there might not be any Social Security left for us. At least that's what the feeling is of so many people. Do you hear that remark often? Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. I be, I, but I believe Social Security will still be there. We'll, we'll still be there. We'll still be here. What we need to do is really to take seriously these years of deficit spending by Washington, which led to a mounting national debt. But I wish it's as simple as why not start receiving Social Security benefits at age 62. There are things that need to be considered because failure to consider like the impact of marriage, divorce, remarriage, and widowhood can severely pinch your life, lifetime in stream of income. And then failure to coordinate IRA required minimum distributions with social security taxation can result in needless diminishment of your income. And that could put that could be put to better use for health care or just enjoying life. So, yeah, there are a few key points, and there are literally millions of permutations for every rule of thumb. There are dozens of exemptions. But here's the key. There really is no substitute for sitting down with a financial advisor, spreading your papers around the table, and talking about your life and family hopes and fear. And, again, it's going through the discovery process. And work together. All right. It's quite a minefield to navigate an obstacle course, obviously. It's not an easy decision to make, folks. So if you're turning 62 and you want to know whether it's in your best interest to start taking Social Security benefits uh, now, uh, it's a good indicator that you should take advantage of Arlene's complimentary, no-obligation, three-step review process. Let me give you her phone number and her email address if you'd like her input. And it's uh, no obligation. It's complimentary. Uh, you can email her at Arlene, A-R-L-E-N-E, Arlene at yourretirementmatters.net. Make sure you have .net there, folks. Arlene at yourretirementmatters.net. Or you can call her at 678-741-5334, 678 741 Three, four. And as I say quite often, if you don't get any of this information down, because maybe you're traveling in your car and you can't write it down, you can always call the radio station on Monday and we'll get you in touch with financial advisor Arlene Brown. Now, coming up next, Arlene's going to be answering your questions. So stay tuned. You're listening to Your Retirement Matters with financial advisor Arlene Brown. We'll be back with more right after this. 